Hello everyone, my name is Danish Buns, and welcome back to another episode of How Not to Play StarCraft 2. Today we're going to continue to look at how awful I am and try and better ourselves as StarCraft 2 players. And I think one of the main things I'd like to focus on during this game is the idea of visualizing and controlling the entirety of the map. Now that's one thing I haven't really done, and you're going to see a couple mistakes that happened in this game that would have not have happened if I had had that map control and had had full vision. But before we get to that, let's introduce our opponent, our nemesis, the enemy of us all, Jedi Pimp. Yes, I, I don't know if that means he, he pimps out Jedis or he is a Jedi who pimps out others. I'm assuming he waves his hand and prostitutes just come very quickly, and that can be interpreted in more ways than one. But there you have it, Jedi Pimp. Pretty friendly guy. He He's a gentleman, I will say that. So as we can see, we are just beginning off trying to get back into our game. And as I was saying before, really got to focus on that vision. Now this map, this map is a little, a little different than some of the other standard maps which were meant for uh, more players, really. You have some of the bases off to the side, and these can be a little tricky to constantly have vision on and constantly have control on so you got to make sure that you have that vision especially if you're trying to punish your opponent trying to keep them penned up in their base where they can do nothing but cry and scream your name so as we can see just checking out everything really i have a hero drone killing the probe and let's just i just like to say i'm ahead i just like to say that i am officially ahead in this game Sure, it's one unit for worth 50 minerals, but I am ahead. So I'm just going to go in and check out his base. You can see he's got he's got one Stargate right now. Nothing really too extensive. I'm grabbing my spawning pool. Going to have a bunch of Zerglings rushing him creepily in a very few moments. Uh, <laughs> that made perfect sense, Danish. And just checking out everything, making sure he doesn't have anything sneaky. I catch that forge going down. But other than that... Nothing too interesting. And I run home like a coward. Uh, so let's speed this up a little bit. And generally, we're just going to keep mining, gathering resources. I misclick horribly, and that drone sits there for a while. It's all right, I catch it. And then I do the exact same thing again. And again, don't ask me how. Just accept that I'm awful. But really, nothing too impressive going down, getting my Zerglings out. I have quite a few now, but at the same time, he does have a fair amount of Zealots. Does get some cannons, so that sort of screws up any rush that I was planning on doing. Though I do have a fair amount of Zergling units. I could probably get in and attack. I do notice that he does have one in the center of his base as well, so that makes me think that he has some defending his mineral line. So for now, I'm just going to use these Zergling units to try and control. But what you may have not noticed is that he sent this probe up here a little sneaky. Very sneaky, actually. What is he doing with that? We, we are going to see. We're going to see, and you're going to cringe. You're going to cringe when you see what happens and how I feel emotionally when it does happen. Going down for my expansion, getting more Zergling units out. Got to make sure, in my opinion, that he doesn't get an expansion faster than I do. I'm Zerg, I need to have my expansions, I need to be producing and gathering as quickly as possible. I am not mining ideally, he does have a lot more probes than I do, or, but I do come back and I do try and match that, pick it up a little bit, but I am behind, clearly, in terms of resources gathered, something that I really do not want to do. But my hatchery is going to go up there and I'm going to start gathering normally again. I'm going to focus on uh, just drone growth right now. I really need to make sure that if I sacrifice, and everyone needs to make sure, if you sacrifice that investment right there and gather a little bit slower than your opponent, you need to make sure you capitalize on that. Because really, he only has a couple zealots defending his base. Uh, he didn't have very many stalkers before. Now he's got a ton of gateways, so now is when he's going to actually start putting on pressure and trying to attack me, but if I had gone in before, attacked his mineral line, I probably could have pushed him back, pushed him back behind me in terms of resources collected and actually got an advantage there. It's a little too late for that though. 
I am mining from two bases now, and we're about even. Even though I I have two bases, I haven't I haven't flushed either of them out. But I do have a decent sized army, and so does he. Now, interesting. We see my opponent is going for an expansion in the top middle. That's sort of crazy. I don't know if I would be that insane or diabolical, if you will, when I would do something like that. But he does, and as you can see, I am clueless. I am busy just clicking around, basically doing nothing. I saw that little dude right there, but he's not expanding. And you know what the problem is? I don't get curious. I don't get curious and try and see what he's doing. I've, I'm just checking his nearest expansions, and that is really where I lose out. That is really where I get punished, right? I have to make sure that I have full map vision, full map control, especially when I have him penned in. He's got his units sitting here. They're, they're essentially doing nothing other than defending this area, and I can clearly see that he's not mining anything from there. So I need to know what he's doing. And then he randomly goes to get some vodka, because alcohol, honestly, it, it helps us think, let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. It helps us think, it helps us work more efficiently. So anyways, I am being foolish. I am actually collecting more minerals right now. He's going pure gas, because he's a little bit behind on gas collection. And you know what, I am a little bit as well. But it's alright, I have a fair amount of units, tons of zerglings, maybe a little too many zerglings. Probably should be pushing for... Uh, higher tier units, but you know, I've got an army. That's fine. And I go for my third expansion I really want to get ahead. I really want to deal some damage. I want to make him cry Do a little push with mutalisks, but he does have a nicely defended base and I just walk them through every single turret and Accidentally mess up my micro so that was a huge loss and I am down now quite a bit Very very awful loss there uh, he sends out his probes, just wants to check me out, and I really don't have any detection right now. I don't have any anti-air, and that is scaring me. That is scaring me. That should not be happening. Oh, wait. Never mind. I get corruptors out. See, I'm thinking ahead. I am thinking retroactively. That's how we all think, isn't it? We all think retroactively. Essentially, nothing happens. I realize he's got little dudes here checking me out, but I don't do anything. I'm too busy making sure I'm mining and enjoying myself. And we can see this expansion, completely undefended, goes untouched. Resources collected? I'm collecting way more resources, but this expansion is way too damaging to me. Way too damaging. I can't allow him to continue to have this, and I simply have not taken advantage of the fact that I control the entire map. Look at this, I control everything. I have one roach here just relaxing. I have one zergling here just relaxing. Not gonna check that out because what's the point? Not gonna check that out because there's no point. Why would he put anything there? It's not like he would put some sort of pylon here and maybe do some sort of late game push. I don't know, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm actually hoping you guys will tell me in the comment section below. But I finally get smart and I have I have my observers, not my observers, sorry. I have my overlords and overseers. And I kill all of his observers because I can't have him detecting me, right? I don't realize he has one here, so he's watching the entrance to my base. But other than that, he really isn't going to notice much. I do have a spore crawler right there in case he does want to do something insane. And I go for my fourth expansion. Now, I still haven't detected this, and you can see we're now matching each other in minerals. He's got three expansions, I have three expansions. Look at the defense on this, and look at this. Nothing. But, but, I just want to pause right here. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back and see something. Let's go back a little bit more. Let's go back a little bit more. Alright? Let's watch this. I just want you to watch this. Let's follow, let's follow this fellow. And this is the point where I scream out, Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Jedi pimp. 
he realizes that he's made a boo-boo. And I send in just everything, everything I've got. I laugh it off because I'm a cruel and inhumane man. And all of a sudden, I'm, a I'm ahead again. I've pushed him back. He's lost income. I'm back to collecting more, even though I still have not been mining as efficiently as I should have been. Just due to the fact that I have so many drones here mining. I am getting another expansion. So, at some point, I will move them in. And I try and do a push. Now, I will give Jedi Pimp credit for this. He has very good control over these two ramps. It's going to be hard for me to push in with just Zergling units. And, of course, my base is... Base, my army essentially is pretty much Zergling units. I do have almost double, and I am maxed out, but it's all Zerglings. I can't push in, he's going to keep blocking me off. My other options are maybe Nidus Network, but I know he's got Stalkers sitting everywhere, making sure I don't get that, and he does have Void Rays, which I haven't seen, of course, yet. So really, I, I don't have very many options. For some reason, I've spread my Zerglings out like this. Because I just, I am lacking of skill. And I am mining finally and essentially trying to prod in now. I do a little bit of pushing with my Broodlords. And I foolishly lose some. Try and do some damage. He can't hit me. He can't hit my Corruptors at least. I try and push in a little bit but it's not enough. Not nearly enough. And as soon as I try moving my larger army, he does a nice wall in, and I get owned. I get pwned. I get ran through. And the Void Rays. And the Void Rays. And my Corruptors. My Corruptors are just sitting up here. They're relaxing. There's no point, right? I don't need to defend anything. I block them, but then I just... I let the, I let the Infestors stand out in the open. And then I burrow, but, you know, there's no point. And we have a little engagement here with the Corruptors. He's not microing properly. And I get ahead. I managed to kill off those Void Rays. Basically, I'm feeling really fly right now. I feel like no one can crimp my style. And I just, I keep outputting units. I'm mining way more than he is. I'm gathering way more. My gas is a little low. It should be a little higher than that. Uh, you know what? It's because I forgot. I forgot to put units there. But... I think right now, actually, we should probably focus on what the Protoss should be doing. Now, the Protoss, he's been mining. He has a fair amount of minerals, but what he hasn't done, properly at least, is really checked out my bases. All right? He does have a probe, but look at this. He hasn't checked out a single thing in my base. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means he doesn't have good vision. All right? If we look at me... I've seen everything on this map. I know he's got stuff here. I know he's got stuff here. I figured out that he did have stuff here. But I've seen everything. I know what's going on. He doesn't. And in the end, that's going to cost him a lot. Because I really don't have any defense here. I have nothing to stop any sort of drop. Any sort of assault on my base. I basically have nothing to stop it. Now, of course, he's focusing on this large army outside of his base. Which is perfectly fine. He should do that. But he needs to make sure that he tries to capitalize on, on my mistakes, on my inability to properly do anything in this freaking game. And in the end, that's going to punish him dearly. He's mining on one, two bases right now, soon to be one. Nope, just one base right now. And, you know, he's not nearly doing enough. Now, he does wall off there. And quickly, I'm learning that my micro skill has to be a little bit better. Obviously, now I try and do that double push in. He blocks off my Zerglings. And I send in my Corruptors foolishly to this massive Stalker army. And I don't micro them at all. Instead, I let his walk as Colossus. I let his walk as Colossus back in. No, I let him walk those Colossi. Col 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 Colossi is not the right term. I know that. He dominates me. Let's just let's just say that. He dominates me. I've lost quite a bit. And I've sacrificed a fair amount of units. A fair amount of units. About 3,000 units I'm behind. The issue, of course, is that I'm gathering at double the rate he is. So I can afford to make huge losses. I shouldn't be making huge losses, obviously. 
but I can semi afford it now. As you can see, he's going high Templar, so that's going to be dangerous as well. And I believe he has a couple dark Templar where he, he does have. He does have Dark Templar somewhere. I don't know if he's created them yet, but he does have Dark Templar. When in doubt, Dark Templar is the Protoss way. When in doubt, Void Ray is also another Protoss way. Anyway, you can see I have the Brood Lords. They're sticking around, just relaxing. I send them in over here because I want them to get killed in the most horrible fashion imaginable. And as you can see, he goes for it. Now... I want to pretend like I was doing that to bait them in. It wasn't bait. Honestly, it wasn't bait. It was just me being a fool. And I wipe him out. But in the fight, I don't realize that he does have a Dark Templar killing me. And I don't have any detection. Come on. Move the Overseer. Move the Overseer. There we go. Dark Templar. Now I'm a little bit nervous. Dark Templars scare me. They make me shy. But he moves out with his base, and right now, I don't have much. Not in terms of strength. He does have excellent, excellent micro, in my opinion. Manages to hold me off. And does a decent job of making me waste my units. My Corruptors, not useful at this point. I lose pretty much all my Roaches. And look at that. I've lost quite a bit. I've lost quite a bit. The problem is, though, of course, I can create units much faster than he can. So, the, this, this small army is not going to do much against me. He still hasn't checked me out. I accidentally send the roaches far away. And they just, they just get murdered. Their, their bodies are ripped apart, torn to shreds. Really, it's just it's a sad day for insectoids across the entire plane of existence. But my roach, my pathetic roach army, doesn't do enough. It does enough to scare him off and prevent him from going any farther to my base. He doesn't have enough to really deal any damage to me. And as you can see, going back in, I'm going to be creating more units. I'm going to be generally owning him in the best way imaginable. I got 17 more roaches coming out. And I, I just have too much control over this map. Now, this is his army. I still have triple, or not triple, sorry, double the army. I'm going to try and embarrass him as best I can, really. I just want to make him shy. I want to make him quiver. Ah, I just want to make him quiver. That doesn't sound disturbing or weird at all. Move my corruptors in. No idea why. Just, just to do it. And my broodlords get caught off guard a little bit. But the positive is that... I do a fair bit of damage, and my Roaches, my little fellas, they come in. They're not shy anymore. My Roaches aren't shy anymore. Now they know what to do. Now they're, now they're in. They're ready. He doesn't have anywhere near enough minerals. I decide to uh, clean everything and then lose everything to his one DT. Kill off these Colossi. I've got Corruptors here basically doing nothing. And I sit them here because, you know, I've always wanted to be killed by a ghost. And I'm not talking ghost as in the class ghost or character ghost. I'm talking in as in actual ghosts. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I brought one roach <laughs> because my micro is godly. And the, the hero roach will be there. And Jedi Pimp decides to secede. And I am victorious. I am victorious. I know you weren't expecting it. Honestly, I'm never expecting it either, so I don't blame you. I'd just like to say, I think we all saw from that. We can actually go back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's pause right here and check out Jedi Pimp's vision. Okay. Look at that. This whole time, he didn't have vision of five bases. Five bases he didn't see. That's pretty costly, and that cost him the game. If he had bothered to check out everything that I had with a probe, with whatever he could, he would have noticed that my base was pretty much undefended. And, of course, I managed to scout the entire map, discovered where his bases were. Maybe a little late, but I did discover where they were, and 
managed to pull out a victory, which is honestly a rarity in my case. Anyways, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Guys, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. Or don't tell me. Just look on and cringe, cry, uh, cheer my name. Whatever you wish to do. My self-esteem will drop no matter what, so don't worry about it. That's it for me. I'll see you next time.